Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sailor Agenda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as Great Britain. It's June of 1957. We've been at war 15 months, first with France, then with the USA, and now lately also with Austria-Hungary. We are struggling to protect all of our trade. We are outgunned by an enormous margin. Literally out of Amazons to put on trade protection, which is real bad. We are only building a couple of light cruisers. But we do have France under blockade. And we've frankly pulverized most of their fleet. We're also hoping to pick off a few American ships in the Caribbean while they're busy scrambling back from Hawaii because owning the Panama Canal is actually a very good thing. And we're invading Anam, which will complete our ejection of France from Southeast Asia. They got more possessions of the Pacific we can take still, too. So, it's not good. But it could be worse. Probably will be. Uh, we have no forces in this area, I don't think. Yeah. Carrier battle in sport of land combat. Theoretically, this could be winnable. They don't have a much of a carrier force in the area. However, we don't exactly... Oh, no, I have two Arc Royals here, actually. Okay, let's take it on. They have some aircraft on the Gulf Coast, but I have some aircraft in Jamaica. If our estimates are correct, they don't have more than a CV and three CVLs, and I have two fleet carriers here, with two light cruisers, eight destroyers. It could go horribly wrong, but it's also a chance to strike at the U.S. We're not too close to any of their bases. No, I don't think they took Guantanamo Bay in this timeline, so no. Their nearest air base is probably... Probably Miami, which is, and even assuming that it's fully up and running, it's only, uh, well, it's, it's 550 nautical miles away, which is quite a bit. Meanwhile, we are 100 nautical miles from Jamaica. And the Ark Royal and Illustrious here are fully fitted out and functional jet carriers with heavy jets and jet attack aircraft, so... I mean, it really just depends what kind of carriers the Americans bring to the fight. And how quickly we find them. Found them! Okay, prep the strike. Range. 130 nautical miles. Oof. Illustrious, uh, does not have a whole lot of aircraft ready to go. That's sort of the problem. We're very short on jets still, but... We just gotta hit them as hard as we possibly can. is engaging uh, light jet fighters. Not that worried about a few light jets, but two CVL. Two CVL 60D reported. Okay, are we ready to launch? We are. Let's just have a few more aircraft available. Not many. Alright. Bombs away, gents. It looks like it's a CVL force. Probably two of them. But if we don't take them down 
Is this for my carriers, or is this out of is that out of Kingston? I thought my strike would take a little longer than that. Oh yeah, that's from Kingston. Nice. Enemy aircraft approaching. Oh, that is four light jet fighters. Would the cap care to do something about that? Or yes, they would. Yes. Okay. Shot down one, damaged one. Okay, they're engaging our airstrike. Definitely engaging our airstrike. I think we took care of their airstrike too. Hopefully we're causing some damage here. I'm not sure we did. I think the Kingston wave of jets might have just gotten wrecked by the cap. Hopefully ours will do a little better. I'm sending an escort. Uh, what's with the assembly point north of the fleet? Whatever. They've got plenty of range. Anyway, we do have an escort, so hopefully... Oh, we also have missiles, so standoff capabilities help. We still just lost several jets. I'm watching that happen. Don't have a lot to spare, unfortunately. There's two to three CVLs down there for sure. Their escort seems inferior to ours, so we could try to take them on in a surface action. A little dumb, but... And again, we've got two light cruisers and eight destroyers, was it? Looks pretty likely that they've got five to six destroyers, so... We could win that engagement. Let's kind of cruise this way. Let's stay on the good side of Jamaica, but... Have we landed? Uh, I don't know if we have. It's not a lot of aircraft. I think we have, though. I don't think we accomplished much with that strike. Not that they've ever hurt us in any way, but... Maybe neither of us really has the capacity to get through each other's caps. I mean, this is well, third to eighteen aircraft in this strike. That's hardly nothing. It's definitely something, but I don't think we really damaged them with the last strike. So. Now we're ready. Okay. Uh, yeah. Launch. Here comes their follow-up. Uh, it's four light jets. Yeah, they don't... It's pr I'm pretty sure we're fighting light carriers with light jets. And they are getting massacred by our cap. The problem is that's pretty much what happened to our strike, too. That surface engagement's looking more likely by the second. They're not even claiming to be hitting anything with the missiles, which is crazy. There we go. There we go. Not exactly great, but we hit something. Kingston is trying to help out. Maybe they're causing some attrition to the cap at least. Oh, it's about to be dark. We can close in on the surface then.
We should be prepared for night strikes. Can we try one more attack before nightfall? No on ASMs. That's actually a good thing. Well, it's not, but that uh, means we have enough aircraft that we're actually using some of them. No, well, Kingston got something. It's full night. Let's head due south, gents. Southeast, actually. But... I could still launch the strike, right? Yeah. We're all night trained, let's go. Might as well take advantage of that. go. We'll see if they find anything in the dark. That is the other issue. Looks like they might not. You guys gotta be pretty precise on your targeting in the dark, probably. Hell, we're practically there on the surface now, but... Who knows where the enemy might have gone, to be fair. They're probably not just hanging around here. If we could make it to them, they could have run halfway to the Panama Canal by now. I don't believe we're winning, just not in such a way as to suggest we've crushed them. We've got some hits in. Are we engaging? One recon tornado. Don't think we got it, but... What's our radar range? Oh, pretty significant. Uh, but who knows where the enemy are? Most of the reports have them going. Oh, good. Either southeast or north. What was the latest report? 2309? No, no, 1523, I think, yeah. North, north, east. Okay, we're going either north or east. Which is totally useless. It could be west by now, for all I know. I'm gonna head back in the general direction of Jamaica for cover. Okay, here's morning. I think we pretty much need a 360 degree search here, cause... At least... This wide. There's a real possibility they're behind me too, so...
Could we please search 360 degrees? I don't, uh... Oh. Well, that's not gonna help. Any reports? Hmm. It might be north, then. Wait. There was that one? They are north. Okay. Uh, refocus this. It's a good thing I went for that search behind us approach. Uh, I'm trying to... Okay, whatever. It's, yeah. Good enough. I mean, I don't think we can launch planes right now, but we can try to chase them down. That's where they're at. No, weather does not permit aircraft launches. Wait, we need to clear this point. Come on. Okay. direction where they headed west for sure we're not going to catch them unless the rain eases off but we'll try to kind of cut inside their potential course here sea state and air operations rainy day Fortunately, that eliminates the possibility of us following up, but maybe we got something yesterday. Hard to say. Did we? Technically, yes, but okay. For all of that, uh, neither of us was very effective at getting through the other's cap. Apparently, HMS Cockatrice managed to uh, have an engine breakdown, and we sank the destroyer Wolsey with Three missiles from Wyverns off of Illustrious and Ark Royal. We did not hit the light carriers, uh, Independence, Monterey, and Core at all. They didn't hit us at all either, so. We lost 12 aircraft, they lost 11. It's not exactly decisive, I mean, technically we won, but. No, oh, Army. He is interned. French medium bomber. Struggling with some stuff. We've lost the light cruiser Valiant, which was a Canada class. Okay. It's bad, but not the worst. Light cruiser Hannibal, another Canada, is in dockyard. Food is becoming scarce. France is under blockade, though. Wow, we're making a lot of money all of a sudden. Foreign stations tonnage is appalling, but I guess we resume construction of some things because our budget is oddly good. I don't care about foreign stations right now. I'm just gonna fight this. No. This I will accept. Hopefully it goes well. Um, we could still lose Jamaica, which would be really bad for our position in the Mediterranean, so... Or, uh, not the Mediterranean, the Caribbean. So any victory we can achieve would be nice. That said, this is an old light cruiser, so this is not... Very optimal battle to fight, probably. Owl has run into land. So much for night vision. Uh, could I ask... Where are the enemy ships? Over 
we're headed roughly this way. Oh, wait. Oh, crikey. There they are. Uh, actually, that might just be a merchant or something. Oh, no, that's pretty fast. That's something. Everybody get up to speed. I don't know exactly what those are, but they are pretty engageable looking. I think it's two small contacts. I didn't see more than that. Oh, man, they've vanished from the face of the earth. What the hell? What the hell? Where'd they go? Oh, oh. They have flanked us somehow. Do we want to start shooting at that? Oh, we do not. That is a friendly destroyer. What about the one up here? Oh, what about those two out there, actually? Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm thinking those three out there are not friendly. I'm thinking they're very, very not friendly. And I see at least four targets. Owl is uh, probably going to survive that, actually. I mean, what am I dealing with? Is there three cruisers in line out there? I would like to see the situation better before we really commit here. That's a destroyer. That's a destroyer. How many cruisers? Any? If it's more than one, we need to bail. But if it's none, which it almost looks like it's none, then we can fight this out. That's got six six-inch guns. That kind of counts for something. That's a French destroyer with only six four-inch guns. That's got eight five-inch. All of my destroyers have eight five-inch at least, so even if they're kind of obsolete, they can fight it out gunnery-wise. They're certainly better than that. I don't know what that last one is. But as it stands, I'm pretty sure they're out of missiles, which makes Glasgow the most powerful ship here. And that is a destroyer with 8 3-inch. This is a very winnable fight. Let's close the range. Yeah, they don't like that idea. On the other hand, we've kind of lost Goshawk. She shouldn't actually sink, but... Dropping out of line. Probably shouldn't get our T crossed. Let's... This glass go. All right. She should be able to absorb a lot more punishment than these destroyers. But I don't really feel like Lizard and Owl are contributing very much right now. Okay, that Shaw is the big hitter here, because she has almost as much firepower in terms of main guns as Glasgow does. But she doesn't have the armor or the durability. We can knock her out, the others will be sitting ducks, gunnery-wise. The fire's not good, but there's not too much I can do about it. You have do not have that many torpedo tubes, just a very small destroyer for this era. Now let's weave a little. Weave a little more. We really can't afford to get hit by a torpedo. That would be basically an instant loss. Oh, 
Hello, Supermarine Meteors. Now is a great time for you to arrive, honestly, as long as you actually go for the enemy. Which you did. Well done. I admit this Shaw has given us quite some trouble, so... I need to revise my opinion of putting 6-inch guns on destroyers. But she hasn't beaten a light cruiser, but she definitely caused some damage. It's an older light cruiser, but still. Just missed Hatfield there, but she's been crippled by that airstrike, so hopefully we can... I'm back for her once we've finished off Shaw. No. Oh. Hey, the actual jet attack aircraft. Oh, two missiles on the bombard. Well, I think she's dead. She's a small destroyer. Okay, that should be Shaw down. That should be Bombard down. I shouldn't have done that, but it's fine. Ooh, Hatfield might have gotten underway again. I think she just ran off. Ah. Take that. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, what happened to you, lizard? Why are you just sitting here? I think she took a six inch to the engine room and it's just crippled. Oh well. Bombard and Shaw have both sunk, and that looks like Hatfield is just still sitting here, actually. Oh yeah, she just sank. And that leaves one. Well, Glasgow took some hits, but she can definitely take one destroyer down. Is this the standard one with eight five-inch guns? I think so. Yes. Well, I'm gonna make a clean sweep here then. question is whether he can hit us with torpedoes. If we kind of stay behind him, then he can't. So. And I would say that's the end of that destroyer, so... Oh. Might have been getting inside the torpedo arc there. All right! Oh, I lose a destroyer? That's disappointing. It's a lot of damage to Glasgow, too. Well, um, it's pretty clear-cut win nonetheless. Four American destroyers from one of ours. Owl was hit by a missile, but she survives. Lizard was hit by some couple of six-inch and three-inch rounds, but she survives. Uh, Tromblom, the French... Uh, destroyer was hit by a few six inch rounds, five inch, and then a missile from a wyvern out of Kingston, which finished her off instantly. Glasgow, Jesus, Glasgow apparently barely limped back to base, but it's a lot of damage she took, but she carried the fight for us, really. Gosshawk, um, Apparently, somehow took like 10 hours to make it back to base. I don't feel like she should have taken 10 hours to make it to Kingston, but what do I know? Uh, well, maybe. We're actually fairly far away. But apparently, she sinks due to her aging structure and so on. 
But we sank McFarland with the... Uh... This was the Hatfield, and she basically took one good missile from a meteor out of Kingston and sank almost immediately. We sank Monaghan with 5 and 6 inch gunfire from Glasgow. And we sank Parrot with a lot of 5 and 6 inch gunfire from Glasgow. So, it's a win. And we are causing shortages in France, even if we've lost the Mediterranean. Thanks for watching, sailors. Hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Genda, signing off.